after some questions normally arise, well, you know, if we think that uh, that's where the uh, euro dollar is heading or the pound dollar, why don't we go ahead and sell it here? The reason we don't take sell positions in these areas are very high risk trades because it, it becomes a 50-50 possibility of it working. And we do not like to trade when we have only probabilities of 50% success. We'd like to have ideally 70% or better. And in order to get those kind of probabilities, the market would have to, in this case, try to work its way up here to these 60s. And then that's where we would have a, a higher probability of success. And that's where we would want to go ahead and execute a sell position, anticipating that you know the five minutes are going to flip over eventually. So we want to use at least the worst case scenario is these five minute entry up here close to the 60s. And you know, if you if you allow the trade to get actually up into the red zone, then that's even better. But you can see right now, this euro dollar is just not ready yet to try to make another attempt to lower levels. And based on this market, you know, it may never, at least today, make another effort to break this this 30-30 level. We could stay range bound here all day, and the range being between the high of the morning at 31.30 to the low here of 30.30. So we could stay in a 100-point range, and that's why we've got to, uh, you know, be very smart about if we do think the market's going to go in a certain direction, uh, we want to be in that direction to give it gives us the high probability of if it's not going to work. Uh, at least we have a chance to, you know, scout, make some points out of the move, and worst case scenario, lose. If we're going to lose very little on the move. Again, a market that uh, gets very range bound starts to accumulate a lot of fib levels, and you can see them in here on all your different time frames. And that's that's normally a sign of a market that's uh, you know, sitting uh, range bound. And it's been sitting range now for a little bit of time. And if we look here at our four hour, you can see, uh, sure enough, we've got, a, we've got a market. There's a lot of FIB levels that begin to uh, accumulate in there. And I mean, I could continue drawing more FIB levels. The FIB levels go both ways. So we could do, I'm going to do this. You can see basically how a lot of these start to overlap, and in a nutshell, again, you know that's what you get here. We'll try to normally be a little bit selective of the best ones, but uh, you know you start to see a lot of different levels that start to overlap each other.